slide is just Mr. Canner's lovely logo inside Google's inspiration. Okay, and then I decided to entitle mine The World's Ambulance Box. I actually kind of changed my mind about what I wanted to entitle it, but um, my alternate title is um, Be My Ambulance Box? Question mark, the second question. And this is the cover of my book. I also have it like right here. And the interesting the interesting thing about it is it's not really like a book. It's actually like a book of poetry. So it's a collection of poetry by Andrew Phillip. Okay. And then the background of my kind of like story, I guess, because it's not really a story, is that Andrew Phillip, um, he wrote this collection of poetry for his son who died. And um, in the whole, throughout the whole um, book of poetry, he's basically, um, reminiscing on the death of his son and you know what it would be like if his son was still alive and the different people um, and events and situations that would have happened if his son was still alive. And so his son, um, throughout the story I actually thought it was really interesting because you think that his son at least got to like a, you know, a certain age, like being a toddler before he died, but he actually died on the same day he was born. And so um, everything that Andrew Phillip talks about um, about characteristics in his son in the poetry is all just in his mind. It's just something that he made up. And so it's actually uh, kind of, it was kind of difficult to understand at first because he is talking about his son, you know, growing up and um, him and his family vacationing on the beach. And then you read the um, opening, this is the opening page, and you actually realize that his son never even lived to um, his second day. And what I thought was the core message of Andrew Phillips' work was one that we're not alone in our struggle um, and in you know the things we deal with in our lives and um, also that people are what make us uh, strong and what help us get through each event in our life and on the bottom right there is a picture of the actual ambulance box and the reason it's entitled the ambulance box is because Andrew Phillip came up with this theory that, well, it's more like a fact, that everybody carries around this box within this um, theoretical box that's filled with all of our struggles, our pains, and that we need to use that to heal other people because we can't fix ourselves. And so we carry around this box not for ourselves, not as burdens, but to heal other people. And then what I used to support this like theory that that's the main central um, part of his argument is because he sees his son growing up and because during throughout the book he's noticing um, other people and how happy they seem and then when you break it down like in the poems it seems like they're being so happy and then at the very end he'd have some like strange line that completely threw it off where it would end in like but it was all just uh, an illusion and so he kind of realizes that nobody has these perfect lives that everybody thinks um, everyone else does, that everybody's going through things. And so um, another piece of evidence is that his son ages in his mind, and that's kind of how he gets through it. And his um, wife, I say wife because I'm not really sure if he's married to her, but um, she brought him back as well. He pictured their life together with his son. And so she was a main point in his uh, collection of poetry. Okay, and then... Um, I think why, it's like really important to understand the message of why he makes that his central theme, and he makes it a central theme because uh, he wants us to understand that we need to go and help other people and be there for other people because all the times we think that what we're doing and saying for people doesn't affect them, and that it's not changing, you know, it's not making them any happier or any better. When in reality, we might be like the only person or the only thing making them happy, the only thing that's going to make them better to heal them. And so I personally wouldn't want this in the curriculum just because I thought it was, you know, it's kind of tedious to read you know, 67 pages of just poetry and then to have to analyze every single one to find his meaning. But um, overall, I, I mean, I think for junior it would be okay, but not for um, <coughs> senior year. But I think the point I would highlight would be the redemptive aspect of it. Because throughout this whole, this is not just like a, an emotional journey, it's also his spiritual journey. And he actually uses Scottish language, English language, and slang to convey this spiritual journey to the reader. And so I think it is a very like, redemptive aspect of it, of 
you know, finding yourself after being so lost and after being so down and heartbroken. And if you remember my trailer, it was kind of depressing. And that's kind of how the book of poetry reads until the very end. And um, what I think people would gain from this book, though, if it was part of the curriculum, is I think we would gain, you know, insight into the human mind and the way, like, our emotions affect people's actions. And also to think that um, just the, the way the human mind works, because if you think about it, it's kind of scary almost that he had to, in order to get over his son's death, he had to picture his son basically <coughs> growing up and then dying again. And so I think that's a very you know, mental thing that would be hard for most people to face or to grasp. And so that's what I choose to highlight. Any point in the ambulance box. <laughs>